good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode, this week's episode of the CrossPod Wordcast. I am David, and we don't have Daniel this week, but we have a very special co-host, uh, guest, former uh, past guest on the show several times, and now uh, uh, serving as in the role of a co-host. Lindsay, Nicola, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Also, future guest, hopefully. Yes, I don't well. screw it up tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Lots of things depend on that. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see if you can make it to future ep- episodes. I hope so. Me uh, too. It's really. I'm hoping it'll be my my starting board into life. So, uh, Daniel, if you're trying to fill his big shoes, uh, it, you have to make a lot of puns mm-hmm. while he's away. And I'll try my best to roll my eyes at each one of them. I'll do my best. I don't know how how good I'm going to be at the puns if I'm being totally honest with you. It's not easy what he does. Yeah, we can't, uh, you can't just assume you know, that, that, that anyone can do it. Uh, well, uh, I, I should get through some a little bit of business, I suppose, before we get to today's puzzle. I, I, Lindsay, do you have any business to address? <laughs> I don't have any business no, no, to no address business? now. Uh, the the audience should know that you know the, the live audience on on YouTube or or Twitch wherever we are, uh, you can find us at CrossPod Wordcast. Uh, there, the CrossPod Wordcast. You can just search us in YouTube or wherever. You know, uh, we should uh, thank our our fine host, uh, our engineer and producer Sam, uh, on the on the ones and twos. Thank you, Sam, engineer Sam. Yeah, Sam. He on the on the uh, potentiometers. You know, he turns the knobs. He uh, he uh, he's the uh, proprietor of Salton Studios, so it's it's Salton Studios. We're really grateful for. Uh, so thank you very much. the uh, The audience can participate live. You can you can chat and and you can um, let us know if you know the answer. Don't Google it because that would be cheating. But if you're not a, a live audience, then hopefully you're a, a a podcast listener and you're subscribing to our our stream wherever your uh, podcasts are sold and. Uh, we hope that you like us and uh, give us a, a rating. And um, and if you have any feedback or commentary or audio clips you want to send our way, our email address is crosspodwordcast at gmail.com. We'd like to hear from you uh, at, on Twitter as well or on, on, on Instagram. You can find us just how you might imagine by searching for Crosspod Wordca- uh, Crosspod Wordcast. Okay, I think that's all the business I have. Uh, we'll go about solving today's puzzle, Lindsay. Uh, today's Thursday. January mm-hmm. 14th and then we will uh, we'll look over uh, after we've solved the puzzle we'll, we'll do an etymological pass for the words that we didn't know that like that we'll, we'll look those up and we'll finish mm-hmm. uh, with a, a concluding uh, segment where we uh, we share uh, our, the arts section we we, uh, we share art in the arts section of the of the podcast and I look forward to hearing what you have to share. I look forward to hearing what you have to share, David. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I hope I hope the audience <laughs> looks forward to it too. You know, I, I uh, uh, one of uh, one of our listeners did mention uh, 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 Diane, my aunt, that mm-hmm. uh, one of her favorite parts is the art section, and um, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I have a okay. question: Is it just straight back to the art section now? Or are you still calling it state of the art? So you could do like some sciencey stuff in there. Yeah. No, we. We never, I don't think we ever changed the name officially to mm-hmm, mm-hmm. state of the art section, but we were saying okay. like uh, arts section is, a, we, we like to think of the word art. The whole, the whole idea is that the art, art is a very broad sure, uh, sure. word that, that, that includes a lot of, um, a lot beneath it. And, and most people, when they say, when they think of, art, well, sorry, w- the, the arts section of the podcast is named after the New York Times arts section, which is where you go if you want to find the puzzle. It's always yeah. in the arts section. Uh, so that's the um, that's the origin of the name for the segment. But uh, when you go to the when you to think that uh, a newspaper called the art section has a puzzle in it, most people might not think of a puzzle as a piece of art. I guess that's true. I hadn't really thought about it like that. But if it's art. Uh, and and so and if paintings and TV shows and uh, whatever you know, there's so much art out there. Uh, th- that one day, I think we were stretching a little, but I think we should always continue to do so. Uh, if there's technology that's interesting, it is 
a type of art, I think. Yeah. And uh, to be fair, the video was very cinematic as well. So, yes, this is the the SpaceX serial yeah. number eight uh, test yeah. launch. Uh, yeah, that was cinematic and, and with an explosion at the end. Just a lot of drama. Yeah, indeed. Uh, there, there, I, oh, it's funny you mentioned that because it's not going to be today's art section for me. Uh, mm -hmm. But there's always new science and technology to talk about. Yeah. And, the, you know, CES 2021 is happening uh, right now as we speak. New technologies being uh, released and discussed That's for exciting. sale. Uh, and then also uh, serial number nine, SpaceX, uh, the, the, their, their subsequent model of this Starship will be doing its test launch this weekend, probably t tomorrow, Saturday. They've done some some. Um, static fires of the of the falcon rockets engines i saw that on their twitter yeah. but not uh no no launch yet but it it, it might happen this weekend and we can expect them to land it i think it's it's fairly reasonable to expect that uh they've figured out what was wrong with the first one and they fixed it and it should be fun to watch fingers okay. crossed uh is that <clears throat> is that all our business I think that that checks off the to-do list. Okay, then uh, here we go into Thursday's New York Times puzzle. It's, uh, I'll tell you, first off, we'll, we'll name the, the, the constructors, the dual, two of them, Amy Lucido and Ella Dershowitz, and okay. edited by Will Schwartz. Are you familiar with those two? No, I don't think so. But it, well, usually puzzles that are constructed by two heads Mm -hmm. Are tough are tough puzzles, you know. It's not it's not just anyone. Uh, I mean, I'd say like two two heads can make a very. It's not just one person. Two yeah. two smart people can really make a tricky thing. So uh, I guess uh, should we look at the? I think there's things to look at and notice mm -hmm. just purely about the the pattern on the, on the grid of the puzzle. What do you, what do you see there, Lindsay? You know what it reminds me of is like when two hands go like this. There's like uh -huh. it's like we're looking down on like a little yeah, like the boys spiral. and girls club. <laughs> yeah exactly uh, it does yeah it looks like yeah a little bit like that there's those those little black squares are forming a pattern kind of like a yin yang mm -hmm. in, into each other mm -hmm. and then there's these circles in, in, a, in a hexagonal shape you can see right mm -hmm. and then uh, otherwise it's pretty uh, I don't, a plain I, I don't know it's an interesting looking grid it's interesting to see uh, a single a, a black square on the on the on the border of on, mm -hmm. see that uh, uh, right where one across goes to the the four, that fourth square there. That's that's and a little weird. And then the opposite is down on the other side. Yeah. So it's like if you were to like cut it in half and flip it over, it would be the same. Yeah, that's cool about the, these puzzle these puzzle shapes. I think for me that, that that's always a puzzle to me. Or I wonder how people who construct these puzzles end up going for the shape that they go for. But um, sometimes they must be forced into it. Let's see what we get then. Uh, do you want to start at one across or? or... <sighs> yeah, let's start at the very beginning. The, the very best place to start. So one across yeah. is four letters long. The clue is missing. Missing. Lost. Lost. Missing. Lost. Could be lost. Missing. Oh. Um, AWOL. Uh, that's yeah. kind of an... an that's kind of an acronym. Well, what should we do? Where should we do one down and see if we can get any any? Yeah, like one or two down. Okay, one down is three letters long. Blank king. With a with a lowercase k. Yeah. What could that be? Oh, already, I just feel like so anxious. Like Daniel would have known this by now. Oh boy. Yeah. Wouldn't he have? Maybe. Wait, you know, have you ever heard of like chicken a la king? Yeah. Would that would that oh. be a lowercase or an uppercase K? Yeah, no, no, no. It would be lowercase. Well, I'm what if we? Sure. And if Allah is in there, it would it would work with. It AWOL. would work with a lol. Yeah. Does fourteen across start with an L? This is how I do puzzles. Is I'm always I do that little cross referencing. Oh, yeah. Well, let's find out. That's important to do. Yeah, especially before you put ink to paper. Uh, is can yeah. see if it, it going to work with the across fourteen is uh, has four letters in it. And the clue is word with express or through. Mm. Express. Lane. 
lane, express lane through lane. Yes. Okay, we're filling it. We're filling in the top left corner. I think we should do a la and a wall. Yeah, agree. Absent without leave. Okay. Uh, now two, three, four down. Those seem like the. Yeah. Is that what you think? Let's do it. Let's instant gratification. <laughs> so two down. W A and then six blanks. Okay. The clue is goes Christmas caroling. And I don't know how we would spell this, but isn't it wassailing? Uh, we, here we go. You know that song, wassailing. here we go, wassailing? Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's like W-A-S-S-A-I-L-E. You're like really filling out those was, wassail. Because it's like goes wassails. Because it has to end in an S to match that um, the, the, the tense of that of that verb, right? Goes Christmas yeah. caroling. So it's wassails. W S A S S A I L S. If that is the word, that should be number one on our on our lookup afterwards. The EP, the etymological pass for sure. Yeah, because wassail, I think of that as a a beverage. Yeah. What right? Wassail. Yeah, it's also like a it's like a cider. It's like you know that like spiced cider you drink during the holiday so season. So is your guess that the the reason you go wassailing is because you're going singing you're singing songs but you're holding a cup of wassail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe it could have at some point in the past been called that, but I that's just me guessing. It's a pure guess. Well. Let's well we'll find out at the end. Of course, we can't look it up while we're solving the puzzle. No, 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 that no, would no, be cheating. No. Yeah. So, and now, okay, three down, I think, is where we are. Uh, we have yeah. one, uh, O N, and then six blanks again. And the clue is tangy chip accompaniment. Hmm. Tangy. Oh, I know it <laughs> because I love it. It was just disgusting, but onion dip. Onion, onion dip, dip is not disgusting, <laughs> but some people might think it is. <laughs> oh, wait, it's tangy, you'd, you'd say? A little bit. It's got a little punch to it. Uh, now, do you want to play the true clue game? Because we have the opportunity here with, without looking at the clue for 17 across, we have uh, the, the letters A, S, I, blank. And we could guess what clue might be written to fill in that blank. You know, what, what clue could be uh, uh, after A, S, I, blank? I have a question for you. Yes. Can you think of a word? Yes. That meet those letters. You can. I, I can think of two ter terms, like two words, two two clues. Oh, you know what? Okay, I do have one. Okay. Well, I don't have the clue yet, but I have okay. the word. It would. Sure, be. I'll do. Do you want me to do one? Yeah. Uh, a sale condition. Sale condition, like the yeah. a condition for sailing, selling no, something. Oh, for for a sale, yeah, for selling oh. something. What's the answer? as is oh as is very nice very nice okay what do you have david i can't think of a clue for it but it is a, it's a two-word thing just like what you uh, did okay well then i i have another one that's not a another it's a one-word answer oh, i'll yeah. say uh, uh um most people live here and the answer Asia. Asia, yes. Okay, wait. Okay, here's my clue. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm bad at this. Uh, my answer would have been a sip. A sip. A sip. Yeah. Okay. Engineer Sam here. I have a guess. Can I guess? Oh, yes. Yeah, so what's up, clue? Engineer Sam? What's your clue? Something that will keep you out of heaven. A sin. a sin. Just one singular Just sin one? will keep you out of yep. heaven. Pretty crappy reason to be damned for eternity, but <laughs> uh, how about have a we don't usually stick around on these uh true clue games for this long, but I have one more. Go for it. What about um uh Alicia Silverstone's exclamation in Clueless? As if yeah, that's that's uh, my favorite one uh, so that's far. That's great. That's a great clue. Well, we won't know until we check the true clue. And the true clue is for 17 across. 17 across. You read that one, David. Home of Baikal, the world's deepest lake. Isn't that in Russia? Yeah, so it must be Asia. 
Asia. I, I, I've never heard of that lake. Is that in Russia or is that going to be in I our... have heard of that lake. Well, look it up. Deepest lake. Uh, so it's not Fish Lake in Utah. <laughs> no, it's not no. Bear Lake in Utah. Okay, so none, none of the Utah lakes are that lake. Every lake has that rumor. There are parts <laughs> where they've never found the bottom. Um, yeah, like Tahoe, maybe. Yeah. So, okay, so I think we should go to four down here. We have L-E-A yeah. blank blank. All right. The clue is what a letter needs. A letter. It needs. It could be like a letter that you write um, to a friend, you know, in an envelope yeah. that you put in the mail. It needs. Oh, a, oh, a letter is someone who is renting their apartment out. Or renting, oh, yeah. They need a yeah. lease. So a lease. It's pretty tricky. What do you think? Uh, oh, we can play the true clue game again. With, with, which without, one? Uh, so here, without looking at the uh, the clue, 28 across is blank ID. So blank ID, I could think of, that could be a, a number of things. Definitely. Um, this is what they call it when, like when a press office is closed for the remainder of like the weekend or something, oh. when they're stopping, you uh, know, communications. Uh, uh, TID. No, it's uh, called, a, I learned this honestly from watching the West Wing, but it's called a lid. Oh, the lid, putting a lid We've on. We've got a lid on the weekend. Okay. And uh, go out with a, a, a fun story about llamas or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so lid. Okay. I was. Uh, mine was going to be uh, um, blank cuddy. Blank cuddy. Sid? Yeah, like, uh, C U D I Cuddy, uh, Kid Cuddy, oh, uh, rapper. Oh, Kid Cuddy, uh, Kid Cuddy is the best. Yeah, he's he's dope. So, <laughs> uh, true clue for twenty eight across is, let's see it. Ooh, secreted. secreted. So like hid. Yeah, hid. Like secreted away. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, wh now where where do you? Should we try twenty? Okay, that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. SOS, blank, 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 blank. You don't like what I did? I don't care. So sue me. So sue me. <laughs> okay, that's good stuff. And uh, so, so far, like nothing, that, that wasn't part of any theme. Like the, no. the puzzle obviously has something going on thematically with these circles, mm -hmm. but we haven't hit on it yet other than the word lease the last letter e it, it landed in that one of those six circles yeah we're two uh, do you think 24 across we could try that or we could take a spin on five five down five down okay blank 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 e the clue is summon summon uh you call summon. someone yeah summon. Uh, beckon, but that's yeah, not beckon, right. Yeah, beckon, yeah. Uh, wave, wave? I don't know. Or like, you know, like I summoned up this thing. Oh, like mustard, kind of like. Yeah. I, I, I yeah, I, I um, called upon. Uh, well, what? I don't know that. Uh, what about yeah. uh, uh, six or seven down, do you think? Let's or? try six. If not, we uh, if we can't get six, let's move to 24. Okay. Okay, so, well, let's at least do seven, too, though. Let's see. Okay. Six down is blank, 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 M, blank, blank. Power couple from Chicago. I think I know this one. Oh, what is it? Isn't it the Obamas? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. O-B-A-M-A-S. That's who I think of. Yeah, they they got, uh, you know, they're powerful. They have a, a, a platform on Netflix. You know, they have a, whole, they have a, a, a deal with Netflix. That's they're kind of a big deal. deal. Yeah. yeah. If you can get that, then it, it must mean you're important. Uh, mm -hmm. well, well, what now? Seven, seven down now with that e again. The, uh, so we have blank, 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 e blank. But the the middle letter will be part of one of these six circles in the in the grid. All right. Uh, the clue for seven down is garage jobs. Okay, so maybe something that ends in an s if it's plural. <laughs> 
Is it a lube job? It loops. Yeah. L U B. Garage. I don't know why I think that's jobs. so funny. Yeah. Well, you know, they, 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 uh, these puzzles, they got to keep them like G rated. Uh, yeah. So there's nothing funny about that. <laughs> they don't. They, they they don't. Will Schwartz does. He has a sense of humor, but not in the puzzle. I don't think. Well, wait. I have a question. Different. How do we see if people are saying anything in the chat? I think my friend Gabby is watching. Oh, engineer, uh, engineer Sam. Do you have any uh, sense of who's watching us in the chat? Yeah, Gabriella Romney. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Gabby. Welcome uh, to the stream, Gabby. Uh, Did uh, she have an along. answer for five down? Yeah, any sense of? She said the, Obama's. Obama's great. What about what about summon? S yeah, S give us a four-letter word that ends in E for summon. Mm. David, well, should we go to five across? I think so. That's blank right. O L blank blank. Oh. Come. Summon? Plus and oh, the clue is plus and minus. Plus and minus. Yeah. Um. What do you think? Mm. It it almost Oh, it, um wait, is it polar? Polar. Yeah, or maybe it's poles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like cuz the with an and in there, it's like it's saying these are two things that make it. So would it be P O L E S? Maybe. Polar. Okay, so now it's P blank blank E for summon, which I don't I don't know. I Maybe polls is wrong. I don't know. Well, oh, Should we try 15 across? Yeah, that's blank B U blank blank. The clue is blank of power. Common impeachment charge. Oh, this is this is connecting into current events. It's pertinent, isn't it? Mm. I well, think I, we've got an abuse of power. Abuse, yeah. We hear about that a lot. Yeah, it's too bad that we have to hear about that so much. Kind of overhearing about it. Uh, well, now we can play the true clue game with eight down. We haven't looked at the clue for eight down, and, and the grid says it's E-S blank. Sound you hear from a snake. S. Okay. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, um, sixth sense... ESP. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now the true clue Sam, for... did you have one? <laughs> that would be quite the consonant cluster there. Uh, if it was ESP. E. S. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got one. Uh, type of bracelet you wear to keep from destroying your computer when you're working on it. Oh, an ex ex EST, ecstatic... Electric discharge. static oh. discharge ESD yeah like yeah that would be another cluster. weird consonant cluster yeah I think B we're all wrong yes yeah, so well the true clue is that uh, in Spanish so the answer to that is uh, either O or A depending on the the gender of of mm. that uh, that word in this case but we can. Do 18 across now, knowing that the answer there is going to be either an A or an O. Okay. That's So that goes blank A, B, blank, blank. So, or it's, so it's blank A, B, O, or E. Sorry, sorry, blank A, B, A, blank, or blank A, B, O, blank. Okay. The clue is relative of a croc, which I think is, is that a gator? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, maybe. But, oh, croc lowercase. I think it, it might oh. be a gator. But but there's also, you know, the croc like the shoe or like the yeah. But that would brand. be a capital C. But there's also a croc. Isn't there like? Isn't that just a generic term like a croc? Like a con country croc. Yeah. 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 And if that's or true, like a croc of crap. Well, but that referring also. to referring to the shoes is what I mean. Like if you go, I don't know, maybe not. But if that's true, speaking of the shoes, there is a shoe called S A B. O T sabot or sabo. I don't know what I don't know what language how to pronounce it really, but S A B O T is is the word, and I think it it could be that. But let's let's hold off maybe and look at nine down. Okay. 
Then we have S E blank blank. Uh, manorial worker. Hmm. Manorial worker. Gabriella just... says E S E for eight down, and Daniel Foster Smith, his guess <gasps> is Gator for eighteen across. Gator Daniel's for eighteen watching? across. Uh, Daniel's watching. Pressure's well, on. Well, I think manorial worker is a surf, right? Like a manor. They work on a manor, a surf. Yeah. Thing. So then we have, let's go back to 18 across. I don't, uh, I don't, Gator, Gator looks good with the R from surf, but then what else would this be? Uh, L-U and then Lu, if lubes doesn't have a B, if it's a T, it would be L-U-T-E, Lutz. I feel like we've gone wrong somewhere. I don't know. Perhaps yeah, we have. Garage jobs. Garage jobs. Uh, uh, so, well, uh, let's let's see about this surf. I want to see if maybe 20, let's at least see if okay. we can confirm it, <clears throat> that the R is right with 20, the F across, there is F blank blank, blank 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 for 22 across. Uh, and the clue is mythical being old style. Very fairy oh okay so it's a bit it's like f-a-e-r-i-e or something is that old style i don't know i'm not from the olden times well oof, we have some a little bit of untidiness here in the top center of the puzzle but should, <sighs> we, move, should we move on and, and and work elsewhere and kind of get back to this later do you think that we should start now from the bottom up well, I I think we that would be slow going. I I, okay, I think okay. it would be nice to work with what we already have. So like I'd say we should either do twenty five across. We could play the true clue game. We could do thirty four across or or, or twenty four down. We haven't done those yet. But what, yeah, let's do that. What twenty four down? Uh yeah, let's start with twenty four down. So it's blank H blank. Uh twenty four down. Clue is have I met her? Who? Who have I met her? Okay, who? And then we have W A N E blank. We've already looked at twenty four across. Oh, uh, I don't know if we desires. W A N E blank. Yeah, desire w wanes. Mm, would it be wants? Wants least. So maybe something is weird about these circles. Maybe on on the down it's one thing, and on the across it's another thing. Because I think you're right that wants is the answer there. But it's almost like we have to put two letters. I'm gonna. Those are rebus. both B. Was it a B and a P in both cases? E -T. Oh wait, wait, wait. It's E T. What if it's a thing where, yeah, because Gator would have been a T as well. So what if those circles you're using like a totally different letter, but it's supposed to be a T? Okay. Yeah, uh, a totally different. So L B T. Uh, okay, so B I is still saying. right, but B yeah, right. T. But then, and then this is still an E. But we should think that the that the letter B is related to those still somehow. Gaber, least well, we're gonna have Does to. That just... makes sense. Kind of like how last time, like the four, the three X's, like stood for something. Right. Yeah. 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 That, I so... wonder if they're doing that to us again. I think we'll we'll but understand better. But in the case better... of four, in the case of uh, twenty four across, both would be an E. There's no. No, it would be wants. It would no, because be... it's wants. Desires oh, wants. is wants, so it's wants. still a T. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, okay. So it's a T. Well, let's, I, I'd I say. Bet the, we, I bet the, there's six of those. I bet they'll spell something too. Yeah, and as we complete the six, as we complete the six, I think we'll we'll start understanding it better. But I think we should, we have a good foothold here. Should we work yeah. from thir 34 across? We have O-L-I sure. blank, blank, blank. Okay, the clue is lover of Cesario in Twelfth Night. Is it Olivia? Is that a is that a character? I don't know, and I just watched it like a year. A uh -oh. year. Wait, no, I didn't watch Twelfth Night. Never mind, I watched something else. Okay, well, let's hmm. see if Olivia fits. It's like a name. It could be. It could be. Should Oliver. we check thirty-five down? Yeah, let's do that. V blank blank. Through. Via. Through, via, yeah. I like that. That's the third time the word through has been in, in the, it looks like it's in the clues. Uh, oh. So what, what about, uh, I'm, I'm curious here about 21 down. It's got U-S blank I and then five blanks. Okay. 
Olympian with eight gold medals in sprinting. Usain Bolt. Bolt. Yeah, yeah, we all know that name. It's a very memorable name. A great name for a runner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Where are we going now? Well, we, uh, could... we have a 29 across and yeah, 25 across. Game. Yeah, so let's do both of them. Let's, let's knock them both out. I'm sure Daniel, if he's watching, he's like, Daniel well, says they... he has. He had Olivia. Um, you know, the listeners are like 10 seconds behind. So Daniel yeah. had Olivia. He came in after you guys said it, but he says Via is V I A S. Yeah, I think he just meant Via. Maybe the S is a typo. Oh. Uh, when, you know, I'm going through yeah. Boise to get to this other place means like I'm going to that place via Boise. So okay. uh, let's so let's play the true clue game, because I'm sure if Daniel is uh, watching on delay, he's wondering mm -hmm. why we haven't done them yet. And so we have 25 across and 29 across. 25 looks like A.S. blank. Um, American. uh interpretation for people who are hard of hearing or uh, ASL. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then I thought maybe um, uh, Cleopatra's uh, downfall. An asp. Uh, yeah. I'm okay. going to do uh, King David's downfall. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty... Pretty good. Uh, 25 across. The true clue is blank hole. And, and uh, the hole is spelled W-H-O. <laughs> excuse me. The hole is spelled W-H-O-L-E. So uh, what could that be? As a whole. As a whole. Ah, great. I was still thinking of like one, what one word could do that. Okay, now on, on to 29. <laughs> okay, I thought maybe uh, ash hole, like uh, you, you bury yeah. ash in the ground. So 29 across looks like this. It looks like A blank S, and we can imagine a clue or two for that. Other phrase for a six pack. Abs. Yeah. It could be... Um, mm, the, uh, doo -doo -doo. I, I was going to make another, it could be ass, basically. I was going to make an ass joke, but <laughs> but I kind of <laughs> ran out of ideas. So let's see what the true clue is for 29 across. Uh, a blank S. Ah, core features. That's right. Abs. Uh, Lindsay yeah. gets a point. Uh, that's awesome. And now uh, I think what, maybe like 38 across. Uh, it's a long one. Let's it looks try like it. it's 13 characters long in total. And the first four letters are S-P-I-N, so spin. And then uh, after that, there's nine blanks. The clue is classic party game or a hint to solving the answers that intersect oh. circles. Spin the bottle. Spin the bottle. Okay. And that's a hint. So... Uh, the letters of the letter of of the word bottle maybe are are in are yeah. jumbled up and maybe it's like rotated, like if you rotate it, it, it it's correct. But if you if you it's like out of spin right now, mm -hmm. and so like the the e from lease is going to go down and the t from gator would go to want. That's clever. So should we put the t there? Yeah, and then this is going to be a, if that lubes should be lubes so that b is going to travel there. Uh. Right? Least, Maybe. No, no, that's an E. We're going to find an out. E. No, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'll leave it blank. Uh, I think you have it right, but you have the wrong letters. So the, the one that is consistent is the T, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So ignore the T and put the other one in. So lose. The next one. Okay. Yeah, so you yeah. have the B right. That would be an E. All right. Or. Okay. Well, let's. I don't uh, know. Never mind. I don't we, okay. Well, with that. Let's keep going. Let's, let's keep going. Yeah. I think we got yeah. uh, 30 down to work on here. B A T blank blank. All right. The clue is homes for rubber duckies. Oh. Those are baths. Those are baths. Uh, 42 across. A B H blank blank. Ooh. Can't stomach. A bore. Abhor. Nice. Yeah. 
can't stomach. Uh, now uh, we have OS blank is our uh, 48 across, and we can play the true clue game. OS blank. Um, the the building that they tore down at the University of Utah with in the last decade. <laughs> OS A O S T. No, it was Osh, uh, Osh, which is short for or Orson Spencer Hall. Oh, okay, Osh. Yeah. Gosh. Gosh. Lost it. I was gonna say uh, blank kosh bagosh. Nice. <laughs> Osh kosh yeah. bagosh. Which maybe it is that. <laughs> Anything, Sam? Uh, yeah, building material. O S B B B O S B. What is that? It's like a board type okay. of board news. Okay. So then we have now the true clue. Uh, OS blank. Spanish bear. Isn't that no. an oso? Oso. And in that case, then uh, it's weird because earlier they said the word uh, that in Spanish for eight down. They put that mm-hmm. colon SP period to say Spanish. They could have just said Spanish that or, or something. Mm-hmm. Or, But down here for, for the same effect, they could have done bear colon SP blank or period, but they did. And they didn't. They didn't. Yeah, it's, it's a strange. Maybe one of the writers wrote that clue and the oh, other right. one wrote the two, other one. Two heads combined. Okay, well, Daniel now we can says, play. Do, do, do Jar Net comedy series organization. Do, do Jar Net? What is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> is that a clue? <laughs> It, maybe are we supposed? Do we? Miss, I think that's uh, his true clue game, but maybe he misspelled oh. something. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. Read that clue again. The his clue. D u j a r n e t Dujarnet comedy series org. Uh, o s o. Oh, it's o s. Um, is it the OSO? Who are the people that go out? The comedians that like that's the USO. USO, USO, yeah. Oh, Daniel, we we wish we understood your comment. <laughs> uh, now we can play the true clue again, uh, game again twice. We uh, this is Ooh. this is slowing us down, I'm sure. But uh, we have thirty nine down. H O O blank. Um, the ball goes through it in basketball. Hoop, 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 hoop dreams. Mm-hmm. For example, uh, okay, good. Um, um, uh, a real good time. Hoot, hoot, hollering, good time. Okay, uh, anything, Sam? Before we uh, see the true clue. Nope. Okay, the true clue for thirty-nine down. H O O blank. Oh, you were right. The clue is it's, it's a, a laugh. laugh. That's a hoot. Okay, uh, now I think we both have a Daniel point. Daniel says do Jardin. D U J A R D I N. Oh, du Jardin. That's the actor uh du Jean du Jardin. Uh, and he's in um that movie The Artist. Remember that movie? Yeah. That won the Academy Award. That it was like a movie And what's the organization in that movie? <laughs> oh, it's the OS <laughs> OSI. OS I? I don't know. OS No, it's the um it's the original CIA or something? Is that what he's talking hmm. about? Okay, Duja. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun having Daniel uh, <laughs> in the chat room. Uh, it's it's but it's like we reverse roles. Normally, I am in Daniel's position, and he. <laughs> yeah, it's a great way to to have uh, to have an empathetic experience. You know. Just, yeah. We should all do this just, more often. Is he doing it to like study the perspective of viewers? Mm-hmm. It's all to make the podcast better for everyone. Ah, all, that's all fantastic. I can't wait to hear his learning. So now uh, 36 down, a uh, true clue Listen. game ag- again. Oh, where? where? Oh. 36 down, mm-hmm. blank E-R. Um, film starring Joaquin Phoenix? Her. Yeah, that's a great movie. I've never seen it. Oh, I know other people who haven't seen it as well. <laughs> and uh, and I think that there's uh, there's resistance. People who've, uh, you know, some movies just don't get seen. And then some movies don't get seen with a, with a, yeah. with a vengeance, you know, with, with well, 
with intent with yeah i think it would make me a little bit like uh sort of sad or like wistful in the way that uh lars and the real girl did you know just yeah, like yeah. Oh, the ache of humanity <laughs> i can't handle it well uh let's see what uh, the clue i i think uh it could be is um I was gonna say I'm with blank. You're with her. Yeah, uh, Hillary Clinton slogan from the olden days. Uh, Thirty six down. The true clue is through. Through. Per. Per. So is that? I can't. Is that? Would you say? I think per? that that could work. Should we check on thirty six across? Okay. Yeah. Uh, P followed by four blanks for 36 across. The clue is Air Force One VIP, and that's POTUS. Uh, sure is. P-O-T-U-S. And now, and now, gosh, we can play the true clue game once more. It's uh, 26 down this time. A blank O-B. You, oh, wait, where's 26? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh I don't know. A blank O B. I, I can't think of any. Uh, um. Oh, um. You open your newer cars with this. A fob. Okay. Um. Let's just uh, jump in. Let's just see if that's right because I don't have any any good ideas. I don't think. And the clue is tiny bit of progress. Hmm. Um. Tiny bit of progress. Well, I don't know what to make. I, I feel like POTUS and is, is, is right. right as a whole. Is maybe is, as what, a whole isn't right. As a whole, tiny bit of progress. What else could it be if A is not right for A blank O B? A if blob just, would be a tiny bit of progress in like a torrent download, but but that's pretty obscure right a blob maybe it, yeah, it is pretty i feel good about potus and bottle though the, uh, mm -hmm. there's no questioning that yeah. um should we go should we maybe? try 32 down i think we should yeah blank okay. t-o blank blank um the clue is unlikely to crack a smile say and i think that the answer is stoic yeah s-t-o-i-c mm -hmm. uh usually people think of people who are stoic are the ones who don't show any like like negative energy negative mm -hmm. uh, emotions or like but i, I think guess, of that british like the stiff upper lip yes but so it's like avoiding the like po expressing po positive or negative very yeah. much it's like just pulling in the all the way from both sides okay yeah stoic good uh good 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 word it kind of looks like stoic St i like stoic, stoic. Uh, now, now I think we should do thirty-one across since we have the S. We can see what that's all about. The blank okay. S blank from Stoic. There. The clue is general with a dish named after him. That's general. So, so right. So T S O. And three ninety-one in the chat says A to B. Question. A mark? to B. Tiny bit of progress. A to B. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Thank you, GSI 2031. And uh, Daniel says, Wayland vehicle of the 90s. And Gabriel Romney says, TSO. Yeah. Oh, you yes. already got that. Gabby is right about that. What? Who knows what uh, Daniel could be talking about? Uh, uh, the true clue. Uh, for, for, per, for, for POTUS? For, I don't know. When we uh, did the true clue for when we, the oh, the A to B. A to B, and he must have had an idea for that. Yeah. Where, something about Romney? Listen, I am, no, G Gabby, that's her last name. Listen, oh, sorry. I'm dying for us to go to 43, because I've seen okay. what the clue is. Oh, let's look at it. I blank, 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 blank for 43 across. The clue, how Beyonce was crazy, according to a 2003 number one hit. David, do you know what this is? I do. <laughs> I do know what it is. Her her music uh, comes to mind readily. You know, it's yes. uh, very popular. Can't you just hear it? Yeah. As soon as uh, I started kind of 
singing through the lyrics of crazy it just it fills in it's in love yeah ba, 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 ba. all right do you okay, think that, that was a good one we should try 23 down just for fun uh, oh we totally should we've got a lot of letters it's a blank o u t n blank 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 and the clue is relevance of text in librarians lingo <laughs> Oh, I wish I had my friend Todd Robbins in the audience to tell me about his, because um, he's a trained librarian. But uh, but, what do we have? A blank. Oh, what do you think? I have no idea. Uh, uh, when we were, without having seen the clue, I thought it was going to be the word about at the beginning, like that a B would be there. So, but it, it doesn't seem, the, the clue, relevance of text in librarian's lingo. Um about something right maybe should we go 49 across y yes 49 across is uh blank c blank mm. whiz uh, ace like it was a whiz yeah like an ace, ace. yeah mm -hmm. uh so now about uh what about uh, 53 across here we have or uh, yeah, yeah maybe uh, we have a uh, t blank t blank blank 98 day fiance network is it tbs i can't remember now what it's on uh, yeah uh, there's a few of them that start with t's i don't <laughs> know it could be tm <laughs> uh, 90 day fiance it, listen it, it's crazy and i don't watch it anymore because it oh. was too crazy for me oh, okay i i uh, i don't know anything about it just uh, just trying to kind of piece it together based on the title i i know oh, it's no, one no, of those i know what it is it's TLC. <laughs> TLC. Okay. 90 Day Beyonce. Thank you very much. I'm, that's knowledge that Daniel you have. Foster Smith says Saint Blank. Is that late? Am I reading that? Yeah, Saint. Saint Blank. What, what was the last True Clue game we played? Ace. Ace. Yeah, no, we didn't do that one. Was it Blank C? I don't know. Sorry, Daniel. I'm too late on the draw. Too it's okay. Slow on the drum. Yeah, I, yeah, we'll figure that out some at some point. Get get the the chat people uh, right in with us. Uh, oh, uh, Patreon supporters, they'll they'll get to uh, they'll be they'll get a, a Zoom code or something like that. Oh my god! So I think then let's hop down from forty so forty nine down AC and then four blanks. All right, that clue. Roll call. Roll call. Action. Uh, no. Role. I mean, it could be action, like you're playing action. a role. Yeah, like like a director would say action, and now you, yeah. you act. Okay. Immediately, it, my head went to dinner rolls. So, but, you know, yours is better than that. Yeah. Well, I my head goes. My head went there too. Actually, I was thinking of food. Um, oh, well, yeah. maybe. So, so let's say we don't know a action. We could put action in. We can. It's not. It's, it's not an ink. Take it for a spin. This, do you so want to now, go to 54 down? The, uh, I do. Daniel's last clue was referring to 37 down, St. Blank, St. Louis, STL. Oh, STL. Uh, this is right. That's true. Oh, Daniel yeah, yeah. Uh, likes, w w t this is good for him to point out because when we when we solve uh, a word without having looked at the clue at all, like we did here with STL. We say it. We, we, We're supposed we, to say it. We play the true clue game again. We guess what it might be. And, uh, oh. and Daniel guessed it. Right, uh, or STL, I, or he 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 had a good guess. Well, let's let's uh, get, let's try to get Daniel's attention on twenty three down while he's while he's looking, and then we'll we can continue down to fifty four. Uh, remember, twenty three down is a blank o u t n e blank blank. Now uh, again, fifty four down is l blank 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 blank. The clue is petrol unit. They sell them in liters over there. Yeah, they? liters with an R E, right? Mm -hmm. Now be careful though, because the T so far, our, 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 the convention is that the, the word. So it's going to be something else for sixty-two across, right? Yeah, it's going to be something else. But so far, we've left the down word in, yeah. and we and we've we haven't let the tw the across word uh, Shall dominate. We see what, Shall Let's we see, see it. Sixty-two across. Okay. Blank blank. Ancient. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, it's, it's like blank, 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 I blank. 
Yeah. The clue is ancient unit of length. The arc was how many? Uh, cubits. C U. No. B I T, but cubit is it, it is not supposed to fit. Oh, so, the B, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. But these are all letters from the word bottle, so this is all still good. It we haven't really cutit. seen oh. cutit. Yeah, it says cutit. And so now, uh, wh oh, where could we go? We could do sixty-three down. U blank blank. All right, that clue, luau strings. Oh, it's a real shame Daniel's not here for this one because he's a mm. he's a ukuleleist. You. Yeah, you. And now, uh, what? Uh, Sixty-seven across. I think it's calling out. Is it blank K R O blank? Okay. The clue is Steph Curry's birthplace, and it's Akron. Wow, you knew that. I do. He's a an Ohio native, Akron, Ohio. Isn't LeBron James from Ohio as well? He is. Yeah. Cleveland. I think so. I mean, he is he from. Is he from? He's from. Yeah. He played on Might the as team well be. Let's from be there, I guess. Uh, yeah. Who, who, maybe he, he called home for a little while. Uh, wh where, where he opened now? a school there. Oh, really? Um, should we try 70 across? Yes. Uh, it's blank E-E-N blank. And the clue is years before 2020 informally. T teens? The t I would the think teens yeah. because like 2019. Yeah. Okay. It. Uh, 20, uh, 60, uh, 58 and 60 down give us the true clue game opportunity mm -hmm. here. So mm -hmm. we can look at 58 down. It's blank C-A-T. Animal left behinds. Scat. Ooh, yeah. I was going to say like a jazz flow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have one for that one. Uh, okay, what's okay? What's the true clue? Fifty-eight down, blank C A T. Ah, the clue is out. Oh, you. Yeah, scat, scat. Yeah, a different meaning there. The third meaning that we didn't cover. Uh, but now sixty down, blank T N S. Oh, I already looked at it. These abbreviation ones aren't very fun anyway, because it's it's like. Sure. But sure. Uh, the clue is listings on a train schedule. Uh, briefing. Items. S uh, stations. Oh, is it stations? Oh, listings. Okay, yeah, stations. I thought we were talking about itineraries. Pardon me. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, that stations is they they do that a lot, and I've never made uh, I've never in my life had to abbreviate the word station, so I don't. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like that's a very I feel like if you just put that abbreviation somewhere, people wouldn't realize that you meant stations. Yeah, it's only in the context of being at a train station or on yeah. a train. That, yeah. Yeah. So now we have, what, 59 across? Sure. Okay. ITS, blank, 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 blank. All right. The clue is you can come out now. It's safe. It's over. It's safe. It's safe. I think that's probably right. It's safe. Um, and uh, what? Uh, ooh. So we, we filled in uh, the last letter of twenty-three down. So if Daniel's still looking at that one, remember it's uh, the clue was relevance of text in librarians' lingo, and we have a blank o u t n e blank s somethingness aboutness. Yeah. Re Should we try fifty-five across? Yeah, let's do it. 55 across. S blank, 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 blank. The clue is moves like molasses. Uh, like seeps? Hmm. I don't know. Well, we, we can guess that it ends in an S, maybe? Yeah. Moves like molasses. What about 56 down? Sure. Let's do a that. Blank A, blank, blank, blank. All right. The clue is spud. Uh, that's got to be tater. Oh, fun. Both little nicknames for potatoes. And now we have uh, that T from t the first T in tater is in the circle again. So it's part of that bottle spinning. 
And there haven't been a lot of O's, I've noticed. It seems like it's B and E and T. I think the O will be on the... On the far end. Oh, okay. There's down. only going to be one. Oh, there's going to be a lot of them. Okay. Well, should we uh, should we do 51 across or do you, or what do you think? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. We're dipping in the bottom left corner of the puzzle with blank, 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 mm -hmm. L. Okay. And the clue is going to be have a Pavlovian response. Oh, that's like going to be automatic. Drool. Drool. Like a dog. And Or a, a human. Uh is it D-R-O-O? -O? O. Oh, is it O-O? -O? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. O, uh, and then, but it's going to be down. We're going to have to, it's not going to be O. Yeah, right? I think it'll be an L. Okay, so we have a uh, clue, is, or we have blank, 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 blank for 52 down. The clue is uses a light scalpel on question mark. Question mm. mark. Okay, scalpel light like a laser oh like a laser scalpel so it's gonna be like lases l-a-s-e-s -E uh and yeah the word bottle so yeah b -O. so this has to be an o something e o yeah b so we have b o t t l e and if you I like it rotate it uh, it has to be like 180 degree rotation, and then you have it accurate. I think. Oh, that's fun. Oh, or maybe all of them are. Yeah, each one is its own uh, 180 degree rotation. So, it, like the opposite letter is the right one. Yeah. So, so let's. Yeah, guess, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what now? Should we do 27 across? That's the. Because uh, it would be B L, yeah, right? B L. If you're right? correct. Blank, blank, blank. Let's see what the clue is here. All right, the clue is awesome time. I had a blast. Uh, B L A S T. But down, it's going to be uh, blank, 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 E uh, E O, right? This is a fun one. The clue is brief appearance. Hmm. Made a cameo. Cameo. Have you heard of this uh, cameo? Uh, the app? App? Yeah, I've heard of it. Have you ever employed it or are you on it do no. people no <laughs> do, do people pay me to tell them things in the uh, phone I'd, no uh, just leaving it open to all, all the potential <laughs> possibilities what is it what's it all about it's like celebrities well-known people and they have like a fee that they'll charge like anywhere from you know i charge like 25 bucks to like 300 bucks depending on who it is and you can tell them like oh it's my best friend's birthday. You're like her favorite actor. Will you just like tell her happy birthday or anything? You know, oh, you could get them to say on their anything. Something answering machine or yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fun. So uh, um, cameo. Are we, I think it's yeah, a cool. Cameo. It's a cool thing, and I've heard of uh, especially during this last year of uh, artists finding it as a a, a a successful way to still reach their audience <sighs> and 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 make a living. Do you know who Cameo's most popular person in 2020 was? I don't I don't know. The guy who played Kevin on The Office. Like he's like the mm. best cameoer that there is. People request him all the time. Oh, they get fantastic nice. videos from him. Yeah. Well, that's that's cool. Um There's a fun fact for you. That is fun. I wouldn't have ever guessed that. I guess that, and and that's so that's really great for him. One of the uh, podcasters that I listen to uh he does a little every episode as a movie review, a review a segment. He do, he writes a a rhyming limerick as as oh. a, a part of the review, mm -hmm. and he started doing his cameo offering is that he'll writes he'll write people limericks. And, That's fun. And so then you know someone's like, oh, it's my my husband's birthday, and he listens to your podcast, and he likes, you know, uh, bikes and cheese. Can you write him a limerick <laughs> or something? And he does it, and he's done. I think he's done like more than a hundred of them. That Pretty is cool. fun. Okay, so where where are we? We're cameo. Should we move away from? Should we should we finish the right hand, the top right hand corner? Let's, Let's try it. Are we supposed to try to be done in an hour? We got. Yeah, we have eight. We have seven. Let's minutes. do it. We can do this. Okay, so blank All blank right. blank R A blank for eleven down. All right, the clue is we did it. Hurrah! Hurrah! Hooray! Hurrah. Yeah, hooray! H U R R A H. A H. Okay, hurrah. Hurrah or or hooray. Yeah, either one. 
Uh, should we should we confirm it here with a 33 across? It's either H sure. blank blank or Y blank blank. Okay, and the clue is what a nod may signify. Well, it's either a yes or a hey, so that doesn't really help hey. us. Okay. But maybe okay. more of a yes. Maybe more. Uh, yeah, a nod is yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe a yes, so we'll write that in and do 12 down, blank, 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 I-S-E. The clue is foolish. Foolish. Mm. I don't know. Anything? No? Okay. Uh, what about uh, 13 down? Blank, 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 E-T-S. All right. The clue is plagues. Plagues. Like besets? Something bothers me. Oh, maybe. That could, be, that could be an A also, right? Oh, it could be like, yeah, you mean? Yeah. Well, plagues is plural. Oh, or, or you mean 12 down? Uh, foolish. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see about uh, 10 across. We have a CH blank blank. The clue is common bait fish in North American streams. Oh, I think that's char, isn't it? Ah. Uh, uh, char is a particular. Is, is that a fish? I have no idea. Okay, yeah, okay. Un, unwise, blank unwise, or dash unwise. Oh, unwise. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, now then it's uh, CHU. If it's besets, that might be chub. I think that might be it. Mm. Okay, so then we have. Well, should we look at what 16 across is? Yeah, let's look at them here. We have A O N E, superlative. Yeah, A1. That was in last week's puzzle, too. Oh, nice. And 19 across, the clue is. Oh, the word M O W S. And yeah. it overwhelms with down, mows down. Mows down. Yeah, like a. A military overwhelms yeah. them. Okay, uh, good. Uh, so now we've done the whole top half of the puzzle, and okay. we just have the bottom left and right. Let's go. Yeah, uh, let's do it. Uh, bottom right corner. So, so I think I want to finish fifty-five across. We have uh, st. Okay. Uh, well, sorry, it's not. It's not st. It's something else. S blank 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 s. Mm hmm Oh, it moves like. It's going to be an e. E. Yeah. So is it seeps seeps? Yeah. Okay. Now forty down. Uh, L O blank E F blank blank blank. All right, the clue is go down in respect. Uh, lose face, lose face, right? Lose, lose face. Maybe let's con well, let's uh let's see what forty one is. Oh, with E E V okay. blank P E oh. blank blank blank. This is a fun one. Okay. Musical role for Madonna and Patti Lapone. <laughs> Eva Peron. So E V A P E R O N. Yeah. Eva from Evita. Yeah. Uh, okay. And we're not doing the true clue game. We're just blazing forward here. Should uh, we? Uh, yeah, 40, let's go. 44 down. Uh, e blank S. Okay. The clue is subjects of some conspiracy theories for short. So ETs, like extraterrestrials, extra yeah. yeah. Then we have uh, 50 across got filled in, S-A-T, and the clue was posed for, so sat, sat. for. Okay. Then uh, let's 64. do... 64. Yeah, T-A-R blank. Okay, the clue is scale amount. Scale Tear. amount. Tear. Tear, T-A-R-E. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 68 across, E-C-O blank. Micro or macro class? Econ. E econ, yeah. And then... R E N blank for seventy one across. Tear. That's rend for the D. Yeah. And sixty five right, across. Here we go. We fin did that. Sixty five down rather. E N D was filled in, and it's the appropriate answer oh. for this spot in the puzzle. <laughs> That's fun. The end. Okay, where where to now? Let's try fifty seven. Yeah. Across. Blank blank blank. A T S. Okay. The clue is percussion duos. Um. Mm. Oh. Hi hats. Could that be it? Hi hats. Hi. Like the the drum piece, the drum set yeah. piece. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I, I'm not. I don't have drums. So maybe yes. You are right. Look at uh, see about, forty-five. Then. For, yeah, that's blank. D H blank blank blank. Maybe if hi hats is right. And the clue is stick. So, you add here. Yes. Nice. Now. For uh, 46 down, blank, R, I, blank, blank, blank. 
the clue is in parentheses zero comma zero comma zero mm, mm -mm. should we try 45 across yeah. i have no idea what this one is a blank blank um okay house member with 11 plus million twitter followers informally aoc oh yeah this is this is a puzzle that's leaning a little left i feel <laughs> You know, it's talking okay. about impeachment. It's talking about uh, POTUS. It's it's br just the fact that it's bringing him up. It's germane. Know. Yeah, germane. Why is that on people's minds? I wonder. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so then Should we do 61? Uh, 61 across. E blank blank S. Common sources of conflict. Uh, X's. Yeah. 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 Well, 46 down looks weird now. Yeah. Should we try 47 down? Yeah, yeah. C-O-H blank, blank, blank. Okay, the clue is not a single person on an awards show. Oh, co-host? No, no co-host. Not a single person on an awards show. Oh, okay. Yeah, co-host. Someone who's not alone on an mm -hmm. awards show. Okay. Uh, that's like us. Us. Uh, uh, so then oh, we wait, have, we got to go quick. <laughs> uh, R blank S-E. The clue is what matzo doesn't do. It doesn't rise. Or doesn't. And then 69 across E blank T S. Stocks treating vertigo. E N, ear, nose, and throat oh, doctors. Ear, nose, throats. Almost so there. So it's the X, because isn't it Orion? O -R -I. Origin. 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 Egos. Egos oh. cause conflict. We did it in 59 <sighs> minutes, 56 seconds. Wow. Boom. Take that, Just Daniel. Under an hour. Nice. That was a nail biter, wasn't it? It really was <laughs> right up until uh, four seconds to spare. Uh, something, uh, you know, it's like, uh, I bet we did that faster than Usain Bolt could have done it. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he's a wordsmith. What do we know about him? Nothing. We know he's Jamaican. We know he's fast. That, yeah, he's famous for being fast. Yep. Um, okay. <sighs> uh, 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 we've done well. Great work, Lindsay. I feel Great really work, happy Sam. that we got this done. Uh, let's jump through the etymological pass quickly here. We have the one that I remember first being a yes. big one was wassels. Should, should yeah. We, should we look it up? Please. Okay. I'm just going to leave the puzzle right there and I'm going to look okay. it up on my phone. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just read it. Uh, if, or unless you, unless you have it, something pulled up on, on your no, phone, Lindsay. I don't. Um, okay. I'm looking up wassail and... It's, uh, let's see here, on Edim Online, again, E-T-Y-M-O-N-L-I-N-E.com. -E it's uh, the, the online etymology dictionary. It says wassail here, uh, mid-12th century from Old Norse, Vesheil. Ves, mm. Ves, be, and it, that means be healthy, a salutation from, ve, uh, the, from the imperative to be and uh, the word for healthy from Proto-Germanic uh, before that, hela, used as a, a drinking phrase, appears to have arisen among Danes in England and spread to native inhabitants. That's fun. Because oh, kind of, you know, caroling is like, you know, it's like a greeting. Yeah. And it's a, a musical greeting. It's a great thing to say to someone, you know, uh, it's good for everyone to, uh, you know, to say, be healthy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Especially right now. Especially right now. I've noticed that in like salutations uh, um, at the end or valediction, uh, valedictions mm -hmm. at the end of letters, people are doing things like, you know, stay healthy and uh, hope I'm you're seeing healthy. a lot of stay safe lately. <laughs> stay safe lately. Stay safe. This, this week. Yeah. yeah. Like, especially if you're anywhere near federal property. <laughs> stay, stay very safe. But it's, not it's funny. good. It's be well. And so that turned into the word for, um, and I'm just going to look it up in the dictionary, which is different than an etymology. Uh, we're looking now just at the current definition because I think it's two things, right? Like wassail, yeah, spiced ale or be. mulled wine drunk during celebration for Twelfth Night mm -hmm. and Christmas Eve. And, and then the verb, go from house to house at Christmas singing carols. Yes. I'm so glad that it was that. It's funny that there's just those two separate things. And so it's just, um, it comes from the thing, like, it, it, it'd be funny if the word cheers mm -hmm. became the word for uh, singing songs 
Yeah. Like the thing that you yelled when you clinked glasses is also the thing you do on Christmas time when it's time to, or it's also the name of the drink. I don't know. That's fun. Yeah. Wassail. It's good stuff. Uh, uh, any, what else is uh, from the from the puzzle that we were going to be looking up? <sighs> what did we not know? You know, should we look up the librarian word? Oh, yeah. Aboutness? About, aboutness. I mean, I kind of get the, the gist of it. Yeah. But I am curious to know relevance. So, again, like the, the clue was weird. It was relevance of text in librarian's lingo. And when I look up aboutness here, uh, there's only a Wikipedia entry. Mm. And it says it, it's a term used in library and information science uh, and other things, linguistics and philosophy. It is often considered synonymous with subject. Uh, in the philosophy of mind, it has been often considered synonymous with intentionality. Mm. Uh, uh, yikes. Pretty... I don't know. It's, uh, it's just a very narrow term uh, to, to, to discuss... Um, a subject matter. Hmm. Something's aboutness. What like what it's about. I like it. I w- I've never heard of it before. Today was the first time. So uh, uh, anything else? Akron, uh, uh, Tater. I have a question <laughs> here about this puzzle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Many of the letters, when they're switched, still spell words and i wonder if there's any pattern oh, or okay yeah good call that. good call so uh so like boast in, so 27 across should say blast but it says boast and 24 is wants but it says wanes and then drool is drool so these are uh and then cut it what is this one supposed to be cubit cubit that's right i'll put in no no Cut it is all, is is also a word, I guess. Cut it. Mm-hmm. So, or it's two words, and then steps instead of seeps. You're right. Uh, you're right, Sam. What do you? So it's uh, but there's no meaning association connected to drool and droll or wanes and wants. Is there? Gab- Gabor, like, is that Jaja Gabor and Gator? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And cameo, uh, a boast and blast. I think that is a good thing to note, but I wonder. If we're, are we missing something else about it? I don't know if it's significant or not. It, it seems strange. Yeah. But maybe it's just a coincidence. Well, um, do, uh, any, should we, I don't know. Should we look anything? Should we look this uh, Twelfth Night character, Olivia, up? Any interest? Um, I'm actually curious about the word. <laughs> maybe yeah. you're not, but rend. Rend. Yeah, let's look it up. Rend, you know, like I, I remember hearing rend in the Bible, like, and then Jesus oh, yeah. rent his, he rent his cloak and yeah, uh, rend. So rend as a verb here to tear or cut down from old English. Uh, rend and renda uh, goes back through proto West Germanic and old and middle low german anything broken hmm. uh, rind and then probably related to rind like that of a an, an, an orange. orange or no what, what has a rind a banana right no that's a peel uh, uh, uh cheese uh, the cheese rind yeah like a cheese rind or a or a cantaloupe rind watermelon yeah. rind Okay. Okay. Um, I think we've. Re- oh, do we look at sixty nine across uh, docs? Oh, ENTs. I yeah. kind of. Ear, nose, and throat. Doctors. When I see that, I, it makes me think of the character from the Lord of the Rings, the 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 this species of fable, kind of like spe- species of tree that can talk to to hobbits. Oh and yeah. The ants. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think we've. I think we've really done it. Uh, any uh we i mean i think that i think we've done it we did it okay and According now sources online uh the reason that those uh words are all still words is yeah. just to throw you off there they say they're ghosts that's what i wondered uh, it's, it's you know a little false flag 
right? Because you think like, oh, it must be right because Lazes is right. So droll must be right because, and droll is another word for funny, mm-hmm. right? Like old, old, old word for funny. Okay, well, we did a, a very fun puzzle, a very cool spin the bottle theme, and um, and now and we've learned everything we 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 could stand to learn from from the words we didn't know, and now it's time for the arts section of the puzzle uh, of the uh, Puzzpod podcast. Who, who wants to go first, Lindsay? Do you or do with I with my go first? art? Yeah, with your art. Uh, I can go first. It's pretty simple but uh and i sent sam the music but i have been finding lately uh that with all of the tumult in the world i've been feeling a little anxious and so i've been listening to more instrumental music uh and i just put together like a playlist on spotify and i love at the bottom on spotify where you can like listen to songs that they think would be good for the playlist Okay. and add them and so that's where this came from and i actually ended up ordering this album and i'm still waiting for it to come but um the artist is philip glass and the it's just the song's called opening from glasswork but the whole album is really lovely and kind of you know calming and delightful at different turns i don't know i've been really appreciating like classical and instrumental music lately and what it does to my overall mood so that's why i wanted to share it so glass work. I do have it queued up to play a little bit, but I realize that if we do that, we'll probably get booted off. Of uh, uh, yeah, I'm screen. sure we would have a YouTube <sighs> conflict. You guys should check it, check it out. I I will check it out. I, you know, when we're about to do the art section, I always have IMDb ready to go, and maybe I don't know how to spell Philip. Uh, oh, uh, he was the composer for The Illusionist. Yeah, I know him as a as a, a soundtrack composer philip glass the illusionist but he also did the Truman Show and the hours and notes on a scandal yeah he did do koyana scotzi he did yeah there yeah. it is the music from koyana scotzi oh well i've always liked the soundtracks from his movies these i mean mm-hmm. and uh so but but this piece that you're referring to uh isn't one that he did for a, a, a movie or anything right I don't think so. No, it's just a uh, rework and it, some artists have also gone in and remixed some of the stuff. So it's like a fun little eclectic take on some of his things. Okay. I think that, uh, you know, that's uh, good to, good to know about. I really do like instrumental music that doesn't have the, no, no lyrics and uh, um, for, especially for certain things. Yeah. I have a really hard time writing anything if the music has words so yeah well philip philip glass uh uh uh, just a terrific composer and um glass work is the name of the album or the song oh it's called rework rework oh sorry Mm -hmm. and glass what's the name of the album No, no no sorry the album name is rework the song is just called opening from glasswork Oh. Uh, and it's really lovely. I okay. hope someone listens to it. Well, w- w- yeah, someone should listen to it and, uh, and you, you know, respond. Uh, <laughs> tell us how you liked it. Send us an email at crosspodwordcast at gmail.com. Uh, uh, thank you, Lindsay, for sharing that. For sure. Thank you very much. I I would like to talk to you, Lindsay, about a television program I I just finished watching. Uh, uh-huh. kind of a, a not just now actually, just finished last week. Uh, kind of I binged it with my wife. Uh, mm-hmm. we, Chantel, a past guest on the show, and future guest hopefully. Uh, we watched all of this uh this uh, British detective series that is available to watch on Amazon Prime. I think it's originally mm-hmm. from the BBC or something and it's called Endeavor. Yeah. I haven't and seen it, but I want to. It's um it's a it's you know, if you if you uh are someone who likes British detective series, then you must be mm-hmm. a very happy person because there are so many of them in this world. Um, yes. You probably and 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 there, you could find one that's made for every decade 
uh, from the last hundred years, it seems like there's always these these d- detectives. There's contemporary British detectives, and then there's ones from the '90s, and then there's ones. Mm-hmm. These ones. This is. Uh, this all takes place in the 1960s in England. It actually takes place in Oxford. All of these. Ooh. All of these uh, series. So there's. Quite uh, seven seven seasons of Endeavor. Did oh I, my sorry. gosh! Wait, I'm sorry. You finished watching one season or the entire series? The entire series. All, well, one through seven. Eight is is due out later. I think so. We How finished exciting! One through seven. Yeah, and uh, you know the episodes are long as well. This is mm-hmm. something that can be kind of more normal from the uh, the from English uh, TV is that you have like. 90 minute episodes and there's mm-hmm. fewer of them in the season but they're they're big episodes lots of great uh, performers but uh, you know the, the, they always have a great cast and it's all in period uh, costume and 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 the cars and everything and that and the way they talk and everything but um it's all centered around this police uh, this police officer and his name is Endeavor Morse mm. his last name's Morse and like he Morse um, code yeah, and he, uh, the show has lots of qualities to it because it uh, it's one of those, uh, it's like a fish out of water kind of a tale, you could say. Uh, Morse himself is, he's a police officer who uh, doesn't really quite belong with the rest of the, uh, his, his officer, his, you know, the people at the police station because he came from academia. He was, he was actually a student in Oxford and they find themselves, you know, he's a murder detective and they go, in the course of these episodes, some of the murders happen on on campus, or whatever you call the the grounds of Oxford. And they, um, he's so he's a fish out of water with the, the police. But then when he goes and did, is an investigator on scene of a crime, then they all remember him. But then they kind of they don't like the police, in, in, you know. Mm-hmm. In the, so he's he's kind of like he's he's not welcome anywhere. It seems he's very um, uh, kind of a misfit. But he's he's really a great detective, and it's it's frustrating. There's shows like this where characters are the, the, somehow they the, the, for some reason they put a plot device in where the the character is like a Sherlock Holmes. He's he's very gifted with the, the ability mm-hmm. to solve crimes, but no one gives the credit around. Like everybody hates him, and 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 and, and for some reason it's like an uphill battle that he has to climb to get people to like him or even acknowledge that he's a genius. When the audience the whole time is thinking like this guy is like a genius, yeah. So that's uh, one of the fun things about it. it. Maybe it helps you build empathy with the character. Yeah, yeah, it does. I'm sure it does because 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 you, you feel this way. But they do it well on this show. Some some shows do it, and you can see the artifice of that device. But mm-hmm, this show is mm-hmm. is very clever the way, and they it's a slow burn all the way through these seven seasons. And there's uh, lots of great relationships in this. Uh, his relationship with his his primary partner, uh, uh, Thursday as his name, uh, Fred Thursday. All Sorry, of these. his name is Fred Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. They all have such fantastical names. Yeah, in fact, I want to. Br- I'm glad you noticed that because. Uh, th- so, as you can see here on the right, uh, there, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Morse is is his name. Then uh, Thursday is his partner, and then lower down, there's a car- uh, guy named Jim Strange. Is that's a great last name? There's a Reginald mm-hmm. Bright. There's a uh, Frazel Win Thursday. Uh, Joan, yeah, th- there's all these other characters. Yeah, yeah, Thursday's Fred Fred Thursday's family. There's a, a detective named Jakes is, is his last name. Fancy. Eventually, there's a character named DC Fancy. All of these British DC Fancy detectives have these fun acronyms before. They're DCI this and that. DCI like Box. That. All of these um, fun last names. Uh, there's also a, a, a great will they won't they relationship uh, yeah. between Morse and someone I won't mention, Ooh. and and just the really uh, you feel like the show is about oh it's about this or that you know it's all, it the great thing about any of these detective series is that each new episode is a chance to explore the location of the murder so you know um, they. You know, the, the, at one point they might say the mur- murder took place at a at a, a horse uh, horse race place. So then mm-hmm. you learn a lot about horses that episode, and, and then the next time they're in Scotland or I don't know they they never go to Scotland. I don't know what I said, oh, but they're oh. Scottish characters for sure. But um, it's it's just a ball. You got to watch it. I I recommended it to my brother who didn't 
much take to it. He said it was too <laughs> slow. So if, if slow things aren't your business, then it's not your business. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it for a spin. Yeah. Endeavor. Oh, and he always drives a Jaguar, uh, uh, more. A Jaguar? A Jaguar. Yeah. That's another kind of stylish choice that he makes. He's, and he always wears nice, these, these, uh, he, fancy kind of, or not fancy, but very certain suit. It reminds me of Luther, uh, Luther, another British uh, murder mystery TV show. He that, sounds pretty posh for a detective. Yeah, he's a, he's stylish and he's kind of a snob and he listens to music. You know, he listens to the to the phonograph, uh, oh. classical music. You'd like it. <laughs> You'd like that about him. So, because last time nice. uh, you were a guest on the show and you had a um a, a music rec or an art section recommendation. It no, was the last time Max I was on Richter. the show, I had a mug. <laughs> oh, the mug. Well, I, I but yeah, uh, maybe the first time Max you were Richter. a guest, the first time yeah. Max Richter. Yeah. The more classical music. Honestly, classical is really getting me through 2020, which I still feel like we're going through like the bad of the pandemic. So yeah, hold on I, to the I, things I, that make you feel whole right now. Yeah. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Well, and if if uh, if that for you audience is uh, is is doing more crossword puzzles with us, then you can join us again next week. But uh, uh, this week, it seems like our time is running low, and and maybe like now or or around now is a good time to stop recording and broadcasting this show. Yeah, that feels right. Yet, but um, if Could we be. are, if we aren't off the air, 